Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Richardson and I'm the WCPW Review Guy. And as a kid, I honestly thought that the executioner that wrestled Teal Santana at WrestleMania 1 was the same execution that would go on to fight Undertaker at one of the In Your Houses. I, I know it's not, but as a kid, I mean that happened when I was like in the fifth grade and I justified it by thinking like, well, execution show up for one match against Teal Santana and lost. So when Paul Bear and Mankind was feuding with the Taker, they had to find someone really good, and they decided to go back and get this guy who lost at the opening match at WrestleMania 1 to help them in their feud. It made sense to me when I was a kid, but yeah, I looked back and I was like, what the fuck? All right, and uh, this is the unofficial WCPW Top 10. Uh, and yeah, now there's going to be a tag division. I'll be doing a ranking system for a tag division as well. Uh, and we'll actually, you know, start one from now. Like now, the tag match that will begin at this point right now. I'll start putting, make, making it fresh, you know, at that point. Uh, instead of going back and trying to, you know, recalculate all the previous tag matches, we'll start fresh. So right now, everybody is, everybody's on equal footing right now. So, all right. So the women's division, not a damn thing changed. So let me give you a refresh here. Uh, at number five, uh, Katarina Lee. Uh, number four, oh, I had to cheat. Little Miss Roxy. Number three, uh, Alex Windsor. Number two, B Priestley. And number one. Uh, after a successful uh, tile defense at Refuse to Lose, Nixon Newell. So congratulations, uh, congratulations Nixon. Uh, you are unofficially the top woman in WCPW. All right, on the top ten. God damn it. You know, there's a, there, 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 here's the flaw. Here's the flaw in my entire system. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, though, for those who've been following, you know the system I'm talking about, the system I used to make this top ten. And the flaw is you get assholes that come in there who are overweight, wearing a mask, pretend to be someone else, win one match, and then they ruin my top ten every fucking time. He just keeps floating up there because everybody who's losing, their, their win-loss record is dragging them down, and it's bumping him up. So, I, I'm planning on doing this right now. Unless if you guys, if I, if I get enough of you guys to say, like, hey, no, just let it slide, but if you guys are cool with it, uh, I'm going to implement that 90-day uh, con uh, combat clause. It, it, El, uh, Fat Leggero, Fat Leggero, who comes in at number 10. He hasn't been on in a while. He, you know, if, 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 if this is like the allegory of this would be like, I'm Parmesan and Fat Leggero is like my Martin Kirby. And he's driving me nuts. Um, yeah, he, he, he's number 10 and he... Debuted on the uh, July 11th edition of Loaded. And so I'm like, you know what? His 90 days are just about up. Like, literally, this is his last shot on here. So I'm thinking about implementing that. If you're inactive for 90 days, you're off the fucking list. You can come back later, and we'll add you anew. But you go to the bottom of the list. If you guys think I'm being too harsh, let me know. But I, I just, I'm just i sick of seeing Fat Leggero on this list. There's, there's so many great wrestlers that who deserve to be on this list. Other than Fat Leggero. And I know I could easily change it, but I got the OCD where I'm just like, I made the formula, the formula stays. I can add it to the formula, like a 90-day inactive clause, but, nah. So, yeah, anyways, and Fat Leggero, you imposter Leggero, fake Leggero, whatever you want to call him, he's pissing me off. Number nine. Uh, last week, he was eight. He, he's dropped the spot. He lost uh, his shot at the WCBO World Title this past week. Talk about Martin Kirby. Martin Kirby drops in the top ten. Uh, number eight, also dropping. And this is uh, actually not due to his inactivity. His inactivity was actually helping him. Like Fat Leggero, he was undefeated, and it kept pushing him up. And then once he lost this last match, it just brought him down. Uh, Johnny Moss, which we haven't seen in a couple weeks, but yeah, Johnny Moss. Uh, number seven, he was six last week. He's seven this week. Alex Gracie. Alex Gracie. Uh, seven. Or, sorry. I'm at six now. At number six, and he is up from nine last week. Big climb for this guy. Uh, just threw Blompier through a table and won a street fight, getting rid of Adam Blompier. I am talking about Rampage. So Rampage number six. At number five, he has dropped two spots. Talking about Joe Coffey. Of course, did not have a good night at uh, Refuse to Lose. Came up on the losing end with uh, Memoro, Memoro Suzuki. Oh, Suzuki I get. Memorial's the word that I, I'm always going to like stumble over, but it is what it is. Uh, number four, and this is actually, he's been number four for two weeks now, Lucas Archer. Lucas Archer. 
You know, I know like prospects is just considered like goofy jobbers, but guess what? Lucas Archer, Archer has an excellent win loss record. Like it's really good. Like you don't you wouldn't think it, but yeah, he's actually got quite a few wins under his belt, so he's up with the big dogs every time. Number three, he was up two spots from last week. Uh, new WCPW Internet Champion El Aguero. El Aguero, number three. Number two. He was top of the mountain last week. He has dropped the spot. Talking about the local hero, Joe Hendry. Uh, and of course, he was on the losing end of his match. He main evented, lose, or refused to lose. He, he did not refuse to lose. He actually tapped out pretty quickly. But it was an angle lock. Great vine angle lock at that. I'm tapping out before. I would tap out before. As soon as he hit with that forearm in the face, I'm like, I'm tapping. I'm done. Walking away. Sorry. Ow. I'm bleeding. Uh, and then uh, number one. Uh, he was two last week. He's back up on top of the mountain, sitting in the throne. He is the WCPW World Champion. I'm talking about Joseph Connor. So, Joseph. And he, he, he successfully defended his title, even though there's a little asterisk next to that because, let's face it, Kirby was screwed. Uh, but, Joseph Connors, you are unofficially, and officially, since you are the champion, the number one guy in WCPW. So, all right, guys, do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? Let me know if you think I should just implement that 90-day rule. There's two others also that will be taken out the same day, because I don't know if you guys remember or not, but a long time ago, tag team of, uh, oh, Mercer and Myers <laughs> was in a losing uh, battle against uh, Prospect, and just never returned, ever. Never be heard from again. So, uh, yeah, they'll also be taken off the list as well. Uh, so, once again, I, I don't feel bad about kicking them off. But let me know what you guys think. So, uh, of course, guys, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Show this video that thumb and love. And uh, follow me over on Twitter, WCPW Review Guy one uh, Guys, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. And, yeah, until next time.